Hi, Shelby Jo Long here, Senior Vice President of the Strategic Advisor Board, here to give you some quick communication tips that you can alter in your business just for the week and actually see some results. It's all about communication and the network of communication in your business. This week, I'm talking about networking and how important networking is to, first of all, establish your business, second of all, to grow your business, and third of all, to really make your business scale. So let's talk about the establishing of your business first. It's hard if you're a solo entrepreneur and to, you know, you're setting up your business by yourself. You have all these things that you need to set up. It's the business and the systems and the customer relations management system and your website, all of these major pieces need to come together uh, under one roof to help a business actually thrive or even begin to start working. And then we move to the next level to the thrive. But man, to just even start your business and to have all those pieces in place is really hard. My recommendation for that and how you can use networking to really help in those areas of business you can move a lot faster and a lot more efficiently if you find people that are experts in that area, like setting up a website, setting up a customer relations management system, maybe having somebody to help with your image and your logo. All of those things, if you find experts in that space, then you can use that and then you could stay in your genius and stay in your business idea and really refine that message because that's really where you're going to make your money. It's all the other ancillary pieces that come together that Use other experts to help you set up that business. And then as your business grows, it's also important to think about networking. As a CEO and founder of a company, which you are working in a company, we tend to, tend to get siloed and we get within our industry and we're making things grow in our industry and we're changing things and moving things around and really helping things elevate in our industry and fixing problems and working with the day-to-day -day and trying to figure out how to grow but then we're not really thinking about growing out, especially if you're a company that doesn't have a problem with lead generation, like you're in the tech industry and you need to grow. Everybody needs tech. So we're not really thinking about growing and partnering, but it's just important as your business grows to be able to continue networking, to, to discover new opportunities that might be emerging in your industry, to make some new partnerships and new connections that can really make a difference to your bottom line. I think in the growth phase is when we're really starting about create, starting to think about creating some of these passive income streams. And that happens when we start to network and create these amazing partnerships that can really help move your business to the next level. There's lots of ways to use networking and intentional strategic networking, particularly in the growth phase, to be able to make those connections to take your business to a place that you never expected. After your business has grown, I mean, it's never growing never stops. We always move and change and have different opportunities. There's different ways that we can engage those ideas, and there's different ways that we can engage our business within the community, but where we really I think we're limited in networking when our business is in full production. We've been in cycles for a long time and it's really business is easy and your systems are flowing and we don't think about going out to network. This is the opportunity to really think about this strategic networking and being in a group that's going to really elevate your business to the next level. If you're in a region, maybe it's time to start thinking about how to go global. Maybe it's time to add systems to your to your business to be able to accommodate more people. Maybe it's time to add an e-commerce store. Some of these opportunities we don't think about initially unless we're networking outside of our business, we're not in our silo, and we're discovering what other people are doing to help make their business just that much more of an influence. And when you are at a point to really invest in your business, that's when that strategic mastermind opportunity becomes a lot more important. So just a reminder this week about how networking can transform you, your business when you start as you're growing. And then when you're attached to the, to the stage where you're getting ready to exit, that's when we really start to think about how the strategic networking can bring our business to the level that we want it to be when we decide to leave. So think about networking, make it an intentional part of your practice so your business can just keep growing. Mm -hmm.